This may be a normal day at work for you, but it's a big day in my life. The look on your face and the tone of your voice can change my entire view of the world. Remember, I'm not usually this needy or scared. I'm here because I trust you. Please help me to stay confident. I may look as if I'm out of it, but I can hear your conversations. I'm not used to being naked around strangers. Keep that in mind. I'm impatient because I want to get the heck out of here. Nothing personal. I don't speak your language well. You're going to do what to my what? I may only be here for four days, but I'll remember you for the rest of my life. Your patients need your patience. Hello, my name is Barry Rigg. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at the Morecambe Bay NHS. Hello, my name is Helen Pye and I am the Improvement Hub Lead at the University Hospitals of Morecambe Bay. Customer care is important for our patients, our staff, volunteers and members of the public. We need to treat each other correctly, we need to be kind to each other. It's to make sure that patients feel comfortable and relaxed uh, when they come into our organisation. If somebody needs that extra support or that extra arm, that extra hand, you know, to, to get around our hospital. If you have good customer care skills, you're going to relax that person, they're going to be able to feel more confident and comfortable talking to you. Hello, my name is Rachel and I work in the patient relations department. A lot of the patients maybe have never been in hospital before, they don't know what's going on. Whilst I was in the orthopaedics ward, there was an issue, especially at weekends, of telephones going unanswered. As a patient, because you've got all the time in the world and you notice everything that's going on around you. They're aware they're having lots of examinations. Some appear quite nervous, some others appear quite happy and chatty. You might have a lot of anxieties, but it's the way that people deal with you that can make all the difference. And really being there for the moment with the patient, with the relative, with the visitor, with the member of the public. Any bad experiences would stick in your mind, but equally, if you have particularly good experiences. Nursing staff went an extra mile. I think um, they did tremendous work. That's what they'll remember you by. Treating the whole patient demands time. So you've got to gauge the experience that the person you're speaking to on the phone has had. Inevitably, there are going to be swings and roundabouts with that. We've done a lot of listening to get to the standards that we're at today, and, and our patients are now telling us they expect us to behave like this, they expect us to share this type of information. Well, I think one of the biggest physical differences is the thing I'm seeing around people's neck. If people introduce themselves, I think it breaks down a barrier between you and the patient. Asking them if they've got any concerns. So that they can open up and express their concerns to you. Hopefully it will make them feel at ease. Some people have small concerns and once you've reassured them it's almost like a big load's been lifted off them. If I had had that explained, which I understand now happens in the first place, I think a lot of concerns would have been uh, assuaged. And that's what we're about here in the NHS, it's about people. Um, so we can all probably explain an excellent customer service that we've received out there in industry, whether it's retail or hospitality. But this is about how everybody works and we all have to hold the same commitment to our patients and each other. We, we quickly realised that within the organisation we had to go back to some very basic concepts of, of customer service. So we now have around about 80 customer care champions within the Trust. Their job is to promote our customer care what the patients expect from us and then just to break those down into a number of small bullet points and start to share those with the organisation because it's about changing behaviour and changing culture. Yes, I'd say that uh, there is an improvement and, uh, and that's never enough and needs to carry on of course. Supporting staff, giving them new tools and techniques to use in order to improve patient safety and patient experience. It's about driving quality and making sure our patients are safe. This is our customer care commitment. We will welcome you by making eye contact when face to face, smiling and using an appropriate tone of voice, having a friendly approach. We will tell you our name and wear our name badge. We will adhere to the professional dress and uniform code. We will be open and honest and encourage questions and keep you informed. We will make you feel valued and important. We will treat you with dignity and respect. We will listen, be aware of and acknowledge each of your individual needs. We will do all we can to help you. We will not make assumptions of your ability to understand. We will go the extra mile for you. 
Our commitment applies to patients, carers and our colleagues.